Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for going 11 years today, um, more or less in, on February. It's going to be 11 years. And I've been posting it every day so I could bring the good news to your homes, your hearts. Today I'd like to share Psalm 56, 8 to 13. And here's God's word. You have kept count of my tossings, put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your book? Then my enemies will turn back in the day when I call. This I know that God is for me. In God, whose word I praise, in the Lord, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I shall not be afraid. What can man do to me? I must perform my vows to, God, to you, O God. I will render thank offerings to you, for you have delivered my soul from death. Yes, my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of life. Psalm 56, 8 to 13. And here's the poem I wrote, uh, inspired by this psalm. Collector of my tears, whenever you are grieved and suffering, be joyful. All those who belong to God will constantly be assured. The Lord collects all our pains, sufferings, and tears in a bottle. We need not be hopeless, for He knows all that we undergo. When you are overwhelmed and seem things are all dark, run to your Almighty God who knows what's true and right. Though enemies surround you, trust that the Lord protects. It may seem so impossible to win, but He delivers the faithful. Can you fathom how this faithful God can be concerned with our pain? He is steadfast in his love. Continue to rely and depend on him. In God we will trust, for he sees everything and is in control. Surrender your life to the one who is omnipotent and omniscient. Reflection. Can you visualize and translate in words what comes in your mind when the psalmist mentions in verse 8 that the Lord put our tears in a bottle? And how can this picture assure us of his love for his people? Would you ever know anyone who would do that for you? When you're crying and tears fall on your cheeks, somebody comes up in a bottle and actually put all your tears in a bottle. That seems so um, probably nobody does that, but it is so interesting how the visual is. I could see like a person crying and bawling to tears about what's going on in their life. Maybe somebody they lost, maybe some uh, love unrequited. Like so, when I see this picture in my mind it's it's like um, it's such a very tender picture of a, a very gentle and loving God and very thoughtful and very comforting so this picture of of God collecting our tears is such a picture of the trait of how steadfast his love is for us so I would encourage you to visualize this and remember this picture each time you feel like you're so overwhelmed and that there's no hope in whatever you're going through. So I encourage you to reflect on this psalm because this psalm assures us that God loves us so much and that no matter how little our suffering is, He knows it and He understands it and He treasures all the pain and all the suffering that we go through because that will give us a reward in heaven when we go and see him in the end. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching.